it's rude, reuses of unlocked discarded excess and we've frocked up and we're going to a wedding and our outfits are a la scavenger style as promised. Pretty much, yeah, some of it op shop, some of it second hand and we'll just explain what we've done for virtually no money at all. So very little expense has been spared here. So I have on my very, very, very sheer blouse. The brand is very, very. And I have put underneath a stretch lycra top that was a target top that I rescued from the freebie bin at an op shop. The very, very blouse came from the dollar rack on um, at Vinnie's, on the pavement at Vinnie's, was originally six dollars and all it needed was a wash and I'm really happy with that because I was looking for something pretty much exactly like that but to get it actually pleated was a bonus. So there you go. Anyway, the piece de resistance is my skirt. It's a vintage skirt, I can't remember the brand, and it has a big palm tree on it, and it's metallic, a big gold, silver metallic, a bit of both, and I'll just turn around, you can see it goes around, the palm tree goes around. Now I'm going to hand you over to Rude Boy and I'll explain what he's got on because he won't be able to explain anything. <laughs> well, talk. Right, well, Rude Boy, oh, actually, Rude Boy did buy this shirt, but he bought it a long time ago. It's a really good brand, I think a Brook shirt. Uh, it's a European fit, so it's not too baggy on him. He's not a big man. And I think when we bought it, which was, well, for our wedding uh, over 10 years ago, it was $70 then, so a big outlay for us. <laughs> but it's done well. He's worn this to practically every event we've gone to, and it's washed up really well. His tie... I think I may have paid a little bit for this too in an op shop because it was in the packet all wrapped up and very nice, very new, nothing had to be done to it. It could have been three or four dollars. But what's nice about this tie is if you move forward, Rude Boy, it's got the same sort of colours as the palm trees on my dress. So you've got some gold and more Silver, rose. Silver, bronze. Yeah, rose gold, bronzy mm. colour, silver, and a very gold and a grey. So, yeah, it's all happening. Very nice. You can move back now, Rude Boy. And he's got on his Fletcher Jones pants. Now, these go with his suit. And what's really nice about these is this braid here down the side. And those pants are pure wool. And... The whole suit was $45. Mm. In an op shop. Yeah, in Vinnie's, in an op shop. And he has worn this every year for about 11 years. Really great. Always an buying. occasion. Always an occasion. That's right. Well, you don't wear it working. No. You have to wear it to an occasion. That hasn't got any, a work thing up on it. And his glasses, what are they? Quicksilver. Yeah, Quicksilver. Mm, it's very surfy. Yeah, very nice. Match matches. So there you go. Off we go to the wedding. Out the door for, yeah, not much money at all. Bye. It's Rude. Reuses of unlocked discarded excess and it's Rude Girl here rushing out that door to a wedding today in Richmond and we're really in a big rush here in the Rude household because we've been to my 60th celebration of the school that I went to. So it's 60 years since it opened in 1956. We've rushed in the door, had lunch and we've rushed to get ready. We've rushed these outfits together, sort of, all bitsy-piecey, 
all second hand pretty much. So we're going to explain to you what we're wearing today. So starting with my jacket, this came literally from landfill. It's a pure wool dinner jacket for a lady, sort of like a suit jacket, formal jacket for a woman. And it's really nice, it's really fitted, long line, and I do have some satin happening here and on the lapels. I'm wearing a Marquisite brooch that was given to me a long time ago by my mother, so that's a vintage Marquisite brooch. So there's the jacket, it has a bit of a split up the back here, and my shoes. These came from landfill, they were way too high, double that height, there was no way known I was going to walk in them, and Rude Boy has cut off the heels and re-heeled them, and they are so comfy to wear. I tried black, but these really, yeah, just do something to the outfit, I think, not too much black happening if you wear a sort of a metallic uh, beigey coloured shoe or off-white coloured shoe. So I think that's about it. We're ready to go. Now it's Rude Boy's turn. Hello Rude Boy. Hello Rude Girl. You're off someplace. Oh, wedding. Who's wedding? Nieces. Catherine. And you dressed up for it. Oh yes. And you've got Jen, our Manny, Manny who's got no clothes on there. Oh, right. she, she's alright. She's alright? Mm. Okay. Alright, what Rude Boy has got on is his vintage Fletcher Jones. Beautiful, beautiful. I love this suit. It fits him perfectly. Pure wool suit. And it is a formal dinner suit. And it does have... Lovely, lovely, I'm just going to zoom in here, well let's zoom out, I don't know if we can see that, lovely satin lapels on it, oh yes, mm, just come in a little bit rude boy, walk in, yes, beautiful, and you can see his tie, yes, that's matching a little bit my outfit because it's got silver, bronze, and gold through it, so he's got a metallic look happening yeah, there. Yeah, metallic colours, yeah. Mmm, lovely. So if you take off your jacket, please, you've got, well, actually something you actually paid for. Shirt. Sure. Yeah, shirt. Sure. Well, it's hard to get nice white shirts second hand, mm. so we were happy to buy that. And lovely pants, and they fit really well. There's no belt loops, so you don't wear a belt with these pants. They've got an adjustment. They have an adjustment, that's right. And I think I may, when we bought those, I could have altered those a little bit. I'm not sure, I can't remember. What, move the buttons? Move the buttons, maybe, yeah. Uh, but that's all I had to do, and not very much. And... What's really nice about these pants is they have a lovely military type stripe, yeah, down the, not sure if the, the camera's picking them up, but down the leg, yes, and your shoes, tell us a little bit about your shoes, Rude Boy. I think we're in an op shop and they, um, and I noticed the sole was off. And the lady only wanted a donation because so they wanted a fair bit of money for them. Yes, you know? at the time I think it was $12 yeah. that and they wanted with the sole. And off. we, yes, and we got the sole um, just glued back on by a, a shoe repairer. It probably cost $15, but they're an Italian shoe. Yeah, it's a beautiful Italian leather shoe. Lovely to wear. Yes. Really nice to wear. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, well, we better head off. Nosey on off, yeah. Yeah.